Hi everyone, I am Nikhil Mittal. I am the creator of Nishang. Nishang is a toolkit for penetration testers and red teamers, which allows use of PowerShell in different phases of a penetration test and other offensive PowerShell usage. Uh, in this video, I will show you a penetration test scenario which I faced recently. Uh, in this scenario, uh, this is uh, us, the attackers. And uh, I had VPN access to a limited set of machine on the client's network. I was able to get access to one of the machines as administrator. And the domain user, uh, one, of the, one of the domain users on that machine uh, was a local admin on three or four of the machines in that network. Uh, during the domain enumeration phase, after I got access to this machine, which we'll call PFPT lab build, uh, I saw a machine uh, with Kerberos unconstrained delegation enabled. Let's call that machine PFPT lab web. And fortunately, uh, the domain user which we will call web admin was local admin on this machine and this machine as well and couple of more machines so we have admin access to this machine uh, with uh, rdp access with admin privileges and we have admin access to this machine as well but no direct access so uh, kerberos unconstrained delegation uh, by by abusing this, if we have uh, admin access to this machine and we are able to trick a domain admin to connect to this machine, we can use the ticket of that domain administrator to escalate our privileges or get the privileges of the domain admin. Uh, so now this is the scenario. Domain controller is reachable from both of the machines. So that is how our network is. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, we have already enumerated domain administrators, uh, which is not a big thing. So, and we will call that domain administrator as the built-in administrator. Uh, okay, and this is the PFPT lab build machine. We have admin access and RDP access to this machine. Now recall that we have a same domain user logged in as a local administrator on both this machine and PFPT lab web. So let's, uh, first of all, uh, I'll show you the, how I enumerated that if there is a machine with unconstrained delegation enabled, <coughs> sorry. I put together a script, which is nothing but a wrapper around the built-in active directory module. Uh, in fact, the get ad computer command letter of, um, of the module, <coughs> sorry. Uh, but it's a bit easier to use, so, so I'm just using that. So now, if you don't get unconstrained, uh, it looks for the machines with unconstrained delegation enabled and found out that PFPT lab web is one such machine. Uh, now we can load uh, invoke mimikads in mem <coughs> sorry, invoke mimikads in memory. and use the dump creds command to list the hashes uh, for the web admin user so that we can access the pfpt lab web machine so let's quickly see if we have okay so this is the web admin user and we have its ntlm hash 
Now let's overpass the hash to uh, to get uh, to run a PowerShell session with the privileges of the web admin user. So we'll again use invoke mimikatz. User is web admin. Domain is PFPT lab. NTLM hash is the one which we copied. We want to run PowerShell.exe. Uh, oh, a typo. So this uh, PowerShell session should be running with the privileges of <coughs> the web admin user. Let's quickly check that. Let's run uh, this command on the remote machine. Which, uh, which ran fine. That means we indeed have administrative privileges there. Let's create a session so that we can run stateful commands. Now, uh, uh, those of you, I, I forgot to mention that, those of you who want to read in detail about Kerberos Unconstrained Delegation, uh, read the accompanying blog post where I uh, refer to a blog post on adsecurity.org uh, which, uh, which, which is written in quite detail about the unconstrained delegation. Uh, now to run Mimikatz on PFPT Lab Web, which is the remote machine in this case. Uh, I needed to drop the PowerShell script on, on the local machine, that is on the build server. Uh, once again, if you read the accompanying blog post, uh, I have tried to use uh, it completely from memory, but there were a couple of glitches or catch with that thing. So just, just uh, go through that. Right now, we will uh, use it from the disk. So let's run it in the session says note that we are not using computer name anymore because that information is available with the dollar ses variable so now uh, mimikatz is loaded in the dollar ses session and is available on the remote machine now let's uh, dump tickets on the remote machine and see if there is any domain admin uh, administrators uh, ticket available with us. Uh, first of all, we'll change the our working directory to the temporary directory of current user because we'll write the tickets to disk on that machine. And now we will run invoke mimikatz command security sc uh, is so tickets export. Let me check if I'm using the correct syntax. All right, and the Okay, it was there. Uh, so now, Mimikatz will be 
executed on the remote machine that is uh, the, the web machine where unconstrained delegation is enabled and all the available tickets will be written in the temporary directory of the current user. Uh, now to now let's see uh, if there is any ticket with the uh, for the domain administrator user which uh, which we are assuming is the user with the name administrator. So for that we will list all the Kirby. Uh, I assume I'm speaking uh, it correctly. Uh, KB files on the remote machine. Let's store it in a variable. And the out value of it is this. And let's see if there is a ticket for a user called administrator. So we have a ticket uh, here. Note that. In, in the in my actual scenario and in the blog post uh, there was no ticket uh, of any domain administrator on the web, <coughs> oh, sorry pfpt lab web machine so i quickly created a phishing email enumerated the available email ids etc with the uh, uh, by enumerating active directory and the username pattern being used at the client at the client and uh, dropped a phishing email to, to many users which asked them to connect to the PFPT lab web machine. So because uh, we have admin access to that machine and unconstrained delegation is enabled, as soon as a domain admin uh, connected to that machine uh, by simply typing even this, uh, for example, uh, this sort of thing, uh, a ticket would be available on the PFPT lab web machine. So let's see, let's try to use this ticket if it is not expired. If it is expired, we will uh, forcefully browse a domain admin uh, to connect to this machine just for the sake of demonstration. So uh, in my opinion, the best way to use this ticket now is to copy it on the local machine that is our build server and use it from there. So let's use copy item. Okay, first we need the exact name of the temporary directory of on the remote machine. So let's just see what this environment variable has. This thing. Now copy item PFPT lab web C dollar and this path. Let's copy all the tickets to the local directory C tickets. So these are the tickets. And we have the administrative ticket as well. Now let's quickly open a new PowerShell session with admin privileges. Uh, and let's load Mimikatz here. Since now we have Mimikatz on the disk, we can load it from the disk or use our uh, download execute option as well. So let's just quickly load it from the disk. Invoke Mimikatz, custom command. Barbaros ETT C tickets and name of the ticket. Now, Mimikatz should inject this ticket in the current PowerShell session, and if the ticket is not expired yet, we should be able to access the domain controller directly 
and we have Woo. so now we are the domain admin we can do whatever we want on the domain uh, note that uh, like uh, every other penetration tester worth his salt uh, this is not our uh, final goal we can do a lot of stuff after this thing but uh, that comes in a later video so uh, this is all for this video i uh, hope you liked it and it comes handy uh, thank you very much for watching